Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day today. I'm having a lovely afternoon so far. The sun is shining. I have a cup of tea with one of my thrifted teacups. This is the teacup I thrifted for the fall with this little reusable tea bag, teapot for loose leaf tea. Absolutely darling. I'm just letting that steep for a little longer. And I'm thoroughly enjoying the weather we are having this year. It is February and I live in the Midwest of the United States and it normally in February is in the single digits or the negative degrees and it is almost 50 degrees Fahrenheit here today. So I am absolutely loving that. So with that in mind, warmer weather, spring on its way, I really was wanting to make a spring project, something to get me in the warmer weather mood. So over the past week, I was going through my fabric stash and I found a bunch of scrap fabric. So I decided to make a little Valentine's Day banner. I will show you guys this. And I just think it's so, so cute. I had all of this pink fabric. As you can see, I clearly have a favorite color and I love making banners for holidays and birthdays at our house. It's a fun tradition that is just, you don't have to rebuy it and it's a fun sewing project to make and I just really like doing it. But when I was looking through all of my scrap fabric, I found that I had over a yard left of this beautiful Rifle Paper Company Marisol print fabric. This is one of my favorite fabrics. I made my vintage Laura Ashley dress out of this fabric last year, I believe, and I just love this. So I was trying to think of something simple that I could make with this that wasn't an apron because I already have several aprons. So I went to Joann's and I found this pattern. This is McCall's 8255 and it is this blouse pattern and it has these four different views. It has a long sleeve, a three quarter length, a sleeveless and a short sleeve. And I really liked this short sleeve version. So I'm thinking that's what we're going to try and make. I do not have many tops in my wardrobe because I typically wear and make dresses when I sew. Dresses is my preferred thing to wear. It's just the most comfortable for me. It's the least cumbersome to wear. I just put a dress on and it's done. But I did want to add a couple more tops to my wardrobe and I've only ever made one other blouse ever for sewing. So this would be my second blouse and I thought this would be kind of a fun project to kind of get back into the swing of sewing because it's been a little bit since I've sewed. So anyway, I thought we would cut this fabric out, cut the pattern out and let's just make a cute little spring top. pieces are cut out and I am actually filming this the next day because I was going to sew a little bit yesterday but Rose ended up waking up early so here's to wearing the same dress and putting my hair up for the continuity of the beginning of this video but I was able to pin the side bodice pieces to the front of the bodice yesterday. I didn't sew anything but I got that done. This is a little bit tricky because it was a curved piece on a more straight piece but 
I just took my time and got that done. So I have that done already. But I think before I do that, I am going to start putting the interfacing on the lining pieces. I was going to do that yesterday, but I was trying to find some extra fabric of this print. I knew I had some and I couldn't find it to make the lining pieces. So I ended up finding some, got those cut out. So I think we'll do that this morning, get the interfacing put on, and then we'll start constructing the bodice. This pattern looks incredibly simple to make. It's mostly just attaching the bodice pieces and then putting the sleeves in. The only thing I don't have quite yet is a zipper to put in the back. I didn't realize that the entire back had a zipper, so I will have to pick that up later this week. Um, but this looks like a pretty simple project. So let's start working on that this morning. I have about an hour to work on this and we can see just how much of the bulk of this we can get done. You will also notice as well my lining pieces that the pattern is not going the right way. I didn't really care though because you're not going to see it and that was the only way I could get the lining pieces cut out of the remaining fabric that I had. So if you see pieces with weirdly placed uh, flowers, that's why, that is why they're not going the same way. So anyway, let's start working on this, see how much we can get done in an hour. So whenever you sew a curved seam like this to press it open more flat, you want to make little snips in the curve so that way when you're pressing open the seam it can lay flat so it will lay more flat in the front when you're done pressing it. So I'm just going to do that now, trim this and it's always a little bit finicky to steam um, but definitely worth it because otherwise it does not lay flat and ask me how I know because I took the easy route one time and my curve seam never laid flat. So we're just going to do that now and then we will mess around with pressing this seam. So the next part is to just pin the side back with the back portion of the side bodice together and sew those together. Um, it's another curved seam on a more straight piece of fabric, so we'll see how that goes. We're really testing my sewing skills on the uh, curved seams, so we're just going to be doing that and then we'll end up attaching the front and the back together. So already the main construction of the bodice is almost done.
show you our progress so far. We have finished the main construction of the shirt. I got this done and I also sewed the lining off camera because it's literally the exact same process as making this. So before I add the zipper and add the lining, I want to work on the sleeves. So I have a couple of different ideas for the sleeves and I'll kind of tell you guys my inspiration. So I have a Love Shack fancy dress that I absolutely adore. I bought it on Poshmark, I think last year, and it's one of my favorite dresses I own. I will put a picture over here so you guys can see what it looks like. But one of my favorite things about that dress is the details. And one of the details is to do with ribbon and trim. So I have this leftover trim from my Laura Ashley dress, and I have this brand new spool of ribbon that I was going to use for my birthday dress and ended up not liking the color. So my thought was that I could maybe put the ribbon along the edge of the sleeve and then put the lace trim underneath of it. I will put my camera up over here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Um, but I think it would just be a really pretty detail. I don't know how it will look though because the shirt is so plain. I don't know how that will look with having accents on the sleeves, but I wanna try it just to see because I think that just makes things so much more feminine and just a lot more beautiful than just a basic garment, which there's nothing wrong with that either. But I figured I have the supplies, I might as well try it. And it's been nice because this project has basically just used up a lot of extra fabric and things that I have had laying around, which is my favorite type of project because I hate things going to waste. So let's play around with the sleeve, see what we think, and then we will get these sewn together. <laughs> So this is the goal of what it will look like. I have no idea how to properly do this, but I'm going to change my thread and see if this will work. I also had to hem this um, before they say you're actually supposed to, to try to get this stuff on before I do the side seams. Um, so we'll see how this goes. I don't know if it's gonna be a good idea to do this before I do the side seams or not, but I feel like it'll just be easier to manipulate than it would be if the side seams were already sewn. So we're gonna see if I regret everything or if it works out like I'm hoping. So it has been about a week since I talked to you guys last and saw you last. I think when I ended this, I was finishing the sleeves, which I will show you. They turned out so cute and I'm so happy with it. But what we are working on today is shortening a separating zipper. I attempted this once, but I ruined it. We're gonna try this again. So we're gonna try shortening this and hopefully finish the blouse today. While we're doing this, I'm actually going to watch a documentary about Laura Ashley. I am currently reading a biography about Laura Ashley and it has just been fascinating and I just can't get it off of my mind. So they had mentioned this documentary in the book so I thought I would watch it while we were working on this. So let's just stop procrastinating because I've been putting this off for a while and let's try fixing the zipper.
zipper fits, which is great. Here is the sleeves. I'm really happy with how they look. So now we're going to attach the zipper. I did move my setup a little bit. I was given a overlocker or a serger for my birthday. I'm not using it on this project yet because I have not used it yet. I need to practice with it. But I moved my desk over here and the ironing board over here just to kind of switch it up, see if I like it. Um, so if you notice a little bit of a different setup, that's what that is. But let's get this zipper put in. I need to kind of read over the pattern again to make sure I understand what's going on. Then once the zipper's in, all we need to do is add the lining and the sleeves and then the project will be done. So let's get to doing that. And fingers crossed that we can set in the zipper properly. There is no place I'd rather be than right here next to you. And I truly love to talk about your lovers old and new. You never spare me details as you confide in me. I smile and give advice but cannot tell you how I feel how easy it would be to fall for you but that of course is something I won't do so the shirt is done and while I like it, I definitely have some things I need to improve on for myself. So overall, I really enjoy the pattern. At first I thought it would be good for a beginner, but after finishing it, I would not say it would be a good beginner pattern. With the separating zipper and also the lining, I feel like it might just be a little bit confusing. Um, so maybe if you're like a intermediate beginner, I would maybe say do this, but I really like the pattern. I love the fit. Um, I love this style. It is very easy and comfortable to wear. I find the sizing right on and I love it in this fabric. I love the little details I put on the sleeve. For something that's really basic, I think it makes it really feminine. However, <laughs> a couple things I really don't like about this, just from my own sake of how I sewed this, Number one, it is way too short for me. I lengthened it almost two inches from the original pattern and it just hits me at my waist. My intention to make this shirt was to wear it with jeans, but it is just too short for me. So I'll probably pair it with like a white skirt or something and it will be wearable. That's number one. Number two, the my separating zipper sewing job is terrible. I will show you guys a close-up of how bad my zipper looks. Um, as far as the actual zipper in the back, it looks okay, but I did not get the correct length. I did not factor in the fact that I was putting in the lining, so my zipper is too long. Therefore, it sticks out from the bottom of the shirt and a little bit at the top, not terribly at the top, but it looks awful on the bottom. So something to work on is learning how to correctly shorten zippers for your pattern because I did a terrible job. So if I tuck this in with a skirt, I will definitely wear it, but it is not wearable without <laughs> wearing something over it. But overall, I do really like it. The fit truly fits me like a glove. I did have to um, make the bottom portion of the sleeve just a little bit bigger. So I just cut off a little bit of the extra fabric on the bodice um, and then the sleeves fit fine. The nice thing about this project is that this was just scrap fabric. So even though it's not perfect, it was a good way to practice some techniques without having to spend very much money at all to make this pattern. So overall, pretty happy, a little uh, humbling in my zipper attaching, but that is how you learn, you make mistakes and you learn from them. So I am excited to have this in my spring wardrobe. I have a white midi skirt I kind of had my eye on for a while, so it might be a good time to buy it now that I have a shirt to wear with it. But 
That being said, I am going to end the video here. If you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know in a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for spending your time on my channel today. It really means a lot to me and I will see you guys in the next video for a very springy project as well. Mm.